case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a significant antitrust legal dispute in 1991 the united states district court for the district of colorado ruled in favor of the national basketball players association nbpa and charles grantham effectively dismissing claims brought forward by thomas p collins in a case referred to as Collins v. National Basketball Players Assen. The genesis of this complex legal battle revolved around Thomas Collins, who argued that the union's regulations and agreements interfere with the rights of non-certified agents in player salary negotiations. He also accused the NBPA of sabotaging his professional endeavors by intruding into his contracts. His central claim was that these restrictions were in violation of antitrust laws, specifically invoking the Sherman Act. The crux of the argument was whether or not the regulations established by the NBPA and the respective agreement with the NBA should be examined under antitrust laws. Notably, these laws aim to ensure fair economic competition by preventing powerful entities from manipulating market conditions. However, labor laws provide certain exemptions to unions, permitting them to collectively bargain with employers without being subjected to antitrust scrutiny. The district court arrived at the conclusion that the NBPA, recognized as the exclusive bargaining body for professional basketball players employed by NBA teams, was acting within the boundaries of the law when negotiating various aspects of players' employment. It opined that these actions did not contravene the Sherman Act as Collins alleged. In light of the evidence, the court dismissed Collins's allegations as baseless and ruled in favor of Grantham and the NBPA. It established that the very regulations under contention effectively passed the labor exemption test, thereby affirming the fact that they were created to advance the union's legitimate self-interest. Consequently, provisions like Article Dixieth's one of the union's collective bargaining agreement were found to be exempt from antitrust investigation. This legal victory for the NBPA not only confirmed the union's right to advocate for its members, but left Collins with the potential burden of bearing costs associated with the lawsuit. The ripples of this case extended beyond the world of professional basketball, reinforcing the role and rights of labor unions within the scope of antitrust legislation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.